another edition of The Blitz. I'm Rita Danek, he's Wayne Stats, and we're here talking playoffs. Wayne, let's talk about Georgia playoffs. Uh, we have you know, five, six, six teams at home, uh, Thompson, Burke, Washington County, Washington Wilkes, uh, Laney. Uh, what team do you think has the most to prove this week? Well, I want to see how Laney does. You know, they won a home playoff game last year, but now the Chickens do it again. Uh, they kind of build momentum here, so I want to see how they do in a playoff atmosphere. And then Thompson, we know their schedule is, I mean, it was incredible this year, the teams they beat, but they lost in the first round last year. They were two last year, so not exactly the same situation, but I do want to see how they do in the playoffs and see if they can take that next step. And we have a few more teams on the road, uh, Lakeside, Westside, Jefferson County. Uh, what team could possibly pull an upset? I know it's pretty tough, actually. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Lakeside and Westside are both four seasons. and Westside's dealing with injuries right now. I don't know if Lakeside's defense is good enough to get a win on the road. In Jefferson County, they're a three seed, but uh, they're going <laughs> on the road to play uh, Peach County, which is one of the best teams in the state. So I don't know. It's going to be tough for any of those three teams to get a win. Wait, now looking at the Georgia playoff picture, um, what teams do you think we'll be talking about within the next two weeks? Well, probably a couple of Class A schools. They don't start until next week. So they just yeah. have one game to win <laughs> to get to two weeks from now. You know, Lincoln County and Quine should be one of the top contenders for the public and private side. And then if you go up to the other classes, you know, Burke Thompson are probably going to be threats to win it all uh, if they get by a couple of tough matchups in the, in the next few rounds. But in Waco and has a chance to, we know they have a great playmaker. And Scraven County looks pretty good right now as well. Mm -hmm. And on to the other side of the river in South Carolina, you have Strom, uh, Silver Bluff, North Augusta. Uh, who remains after this week? Uh, I think we might lose North Augusta. They have a really tough matchup <laughs> playing the team that's made the championship the last two years and actually beat North Augusta two years ago uh, in Greenwood. So that would be kind of a tough one. And Strom and Silver Bluff, uh, they should be okay. You know, I know Silver Bluff has, is home playing Bamberg Earhart, who they actually handed Bamberg the only loss so far this season. So maybe a little a revenge there on the other side uh, against Silver Bluff. But Strom Thurman, you know, they have to go on the road against uh, Hand Hand, but I think they have enough uh, offense to get through that one. And uh, Augusta Christian plays for the SCISA uh, title versus Hammond this week. Uh, what are the keys for the Lions to bring home the big trophy? Really just do it the last time. You know, you kind of wonder, they're going to be hungry to do it because this mm -hmm. is the state championship. But at the same time, they have been them before. So you wonder if that much is going to affect them a little bit. But uh, the fact that they're playing for their state crown, if they stay as pumped up as they were the last time they played them, they should be in a pretty good spot. We know they're gutsy going for the two, like they did against last time, so they should be pretty good to go.